Hey there, it's day two of our self-isolation. Now, some people show symptoms after three days once they've contracted the virus, and other people it takes up to 14 days. And we know that people can pass on the virus even if they're asymptomatic. So we really have to wait out the rest of our 14 days. Now, I don't have any symptoms so far. So, so far so good. And let's hope it stays that way. I'm wrapping our suitcases up in bubble wrap. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be needing them for quite a while. We did some more washing. Pruned some bushes. And the grass really badly needs mowing. Last night, the Prime Minister of Australia held a press conference to outline some of the stricter measures that were going to come into force in the next few days that will help to slow the spread of coronavirus. There were plenty of things that were mentioned, but I'll just talk about a few of them. Firstly, food courts in shopping centres are to close. Also, uh, open inspections and auctions, they're no good anymore, so that's going to cause problem for real estate agents. They don't want people to congregate in groups when they're out, and they also want you to minimise the number of visitors that you have come to your home. Uh, I think it was less than 10 people, so no big dinner parties, no parties, and all travel outside Australia, except for a few exceptions, has been banned completely from midnight last night. The things that will stay open is firstly schools, I don't know if I agree with that or not, but they're saying that it's important for schools to stay open. Other countries have shut schools, so I know all countries are doing things and they seem to be doing different things, but they're all trying in their own way to help contain this. The other weird thing I thought was that while beauty salons have to close, hairdressers and barbers are allowed to stay open. They must, however, limit the time that a customer spends in there to half an hour. I can't see how that's really going to work since you're pretty much in close contact with the, the hairdresser or the barber while you're in their store. Another thing is that weddings are limited to a maximum of five people, while funerals is a maximum of ten. Now, that's a hard one because weddings, I think, right now could be postponed. You know, do it next year or the year after. But funerals, you can't exactly put them off. Last night when I checked the statistics website, the number of cases in Australia was around 1,800 and something. Uh, I just checked now and it's gone up to 2,423. So we're growing rapidly at this point. So far, I don't know anybody that has coronavirus, but I think that's going to change at some point because they're saying that the number of cases is doubling every three to five days. So this is going to get a lot worse before it gets any better. The coronavirus is going to have a devastating impact on the economy. And speaking personally, it's definitely affecting us. Uh, today, we only did two online sales and we normally do somewhere between 20 and 30. So, you know, that's hurting already. Uh, this afternoon, I sat in on a webinar where they um, broke down some of the various government grants and funding that's available to try and help businesses get through this period of time. So tomorrow, I'm going to try to follow up on some of those leads and see what we can work out. Last night, I watched Q&A and it was all about coronavirus. And the health minister said that without intervention, that before we can develop a vaccine, the number of people infected is probably going to hit 60% of the global population. 
with the stricter measures and lockdowns and social distancing, we can possibly reduce that figure down to 20% of the global population. And that's a lot of lives saved. We're all in this together. We have to keep doing our part and get on top of coronavirus. Okay, talk tomorrow.